so let me get this straight. You got Terrence Crawford hitting people behind the head, knocking them down while pulling them down to the ground, yeah? Knocking out Amir Khan with nut shots, maybe just the one. You got Andre Ward winning every single goddamn one of his fights by cheating. You got Errol Spence being one of the dirtiest fighters you will ever see, yeah? Winning on low blows, holding and hitting, headbutting, all kinds of dirty shit, yeah? But Sean Porter is the dirty fighter. Have people lost their fucking minds? I went on boxing scene, and you got all these boxing fans lying to themselves, saying how this was a close fight, how Errol Spence actually won something in this fight. Yeah, he did. The last two rounds, that's all he did. I gave Sean Porter 10 rounds. He bossed him around. A lot of the rounds were competitive, but he whooped his ass. 10 to 2. I actually had him winning in the third round by disqualification. Maybe somebody will make a video highlight of all of Spence's low blows. Maybe I will one day. But I wasn't even counting, but I would venture, I guess, there were at least 50 low blows by Earl Spence Jr. Blatant low blows. How did he not get disqualified in this fight? How? Well, because American boxing is fake. And all these guys that people are putting on the pedestal, acting like they're not just good fighters, but actually pound for pound level fighters, they're nothing but a bunch of fucking bums. Amero bums. I'm not saying that Spencer Crawford aren't talented. I'm not saying that Andre Ward wasn't talented. But they're a bunch of dirty, slick bums. But we're going to talk about how Sean Porter's dirty. Who was the dirty fighter in this fight? Now look, I'm not saying Sean Porter didn't break the rules here and there, but that's what you're supposed to do when you're getting fouled left and right. What is he supposed to do? Just let the other guy foul him? So he gave him back a little bit, but I mean, come on. Errol Spence started low blowing because he couldn't handle the pressure. He started headbutting because he couldn't handle the pressure. He started holding, which is a foul, because he couldn't handle the pressure, right? Errol Spence Jr. should have lost this fight by disqualification before the sixth round, period. But Jack Reese is warning Sean Porter. And only when he had no choice, he would warn Spence because the fouls were just so blatant. I mean, he would put him on the ropes, grab him, put him on the ropes, Sean Porter, that is, and start landing low blows in combination right on his fucking junk. Are you kidding me? Jack Reese, after this fight, needed to be taken out back and shot. The commentating team, Marcos Villegas, he needs to be fucking tarred and feathered. The whole commentating team, they needs to be, they, they need, <laughs> they need to be hanged and electrocuted just to make sure they don't come back to life. The judges? They need to be flogged and then tarred and feathered. Except Larry Hazard, whose card was a little too close, but at least he had the right guy winning. This was a disgrace. This was another black eye on American boxing. American boxing is a fucking circus. It's a joke. It's a clown show. Sean Porter should be holding three belts right now. I think. Maybe two. Anyway, I don't keep track of these fucking trinkets. But he should be the unified champ, the number one guy in the division, period. And the fight to make should be he and Pacquiao. That should be the fight for all the fucking marbles. Because Pacquiao should be the WBO, WBA unified champ. Porter with the other two titles, bam, right there. Excellent. You're going to get an excellent, clean fight between two competitors who come to fucking fight 
And it'll be a classic for the ages. And we would have had... Because you know both of them guys would make that fight. And we would have had an undisputed welterweight champion. Probably Sean Porter at this point. Although I wouldn't count Pacquiao out. I mean, wouldn't that be the story? What, what do we have instead? What do we have instead? Errol Spence Jr., who doesn't want to fight. He got two titles, but he doesn't want to fight Crawford, right? And, and then we got Crawford, who pretends like he actually wants to fight somebody. When he won't even fucking fight Errol Spence's leftovers, Cal Brook. You kidding me? And then we have another one of these fights that ain't getting made. Everyone's talking about it like it's important or something, but it ain't getting made. And the real fucking fight, the one that should have been, never will be, should be for all the marbles, Sean Porter versus Manny Pacquiao. Point blank motherfucking period, man. Sean Porter won 10 to 2 on my card, but really by DQ in the third. I ain't watching this shit again, man. This was this was a disgrace. Another black guy for fucking American boxing. Another fucking hype job exposed. Errol Spence ain't nothing but a marrow bum. All right. Thanks for watching.